Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today we're going to talk about some video games. Again, I want to try to make a habit of this. Every time I play through a game and try to beat it, I want to give my input. Kind of like a review, but not really. Mainly my opinion. I don't want to put scores on it or anything like that because this, I don't really like doing that. Anybody that wants to play the game should play the game, or any game, to be honest with you. And you form your own opinions on it, which that's what I want to do today. I want to talk about a game that just came out. It's, uh, it's been out for a tiny bit, maybe about a little over a month, and that's Back for Blood. Now, Back for Blood is made by Turtle Rock. I believe it's published by WB Games, um, which is weird. Um, but Turtle Rock is a studio behind games like Left 4 Dead, as well as Left 4 Dead 2, and... The criminally underrated and not very good Evolve. Evolve had a lot of potential. It really did. It's a shame what happened to it. A lot of greediness, which you know, sucks. So Back for Blood just came out. It is a four-player co-op uh, campaign style game. I don't think it has Versus yet. It might have Versus. I don't know. I haven't played Versus. Now, the majority of my time with this game is like any game I play. Uh, and I had done this with Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2. I usually play the games through on my own single player. And that's kind of what I did with Back 4 Blood. I did not hang into multiplayer or co-op until the very last mission, which was a nightmare. And I didn't finish it. Uh, I was so pissed off about the last mission that I stopped playing it and just looked up the ending. Which the ending is stupid. Actually, the whole story arc is kind of dumb. It's, it's it's really generic. Nothing really happens. Um, character wise, they're interesting characters. Um, you know, they have their banter, just like in Left 4 Dead. They have their banter uh, between each other during the fights. Some of it's funny. Uh, some of it's just cringy. Um, the gameplay is fine too. It's actually pretty good. Um, it feels like a mix between, you know, your modern FPS and Left 4 Dead. Um, you know, I guess you have your ADS and uh, you got your sprint buttons and all this other stuff. And the weapon loadout. So this is basically Left 4 Dead 3. It is. It's basically what it is. Uh, without being Left 4 Dead 3. It's, it's Left 4 Dead 3. But not as good as Left 4 Dead. Um, if anything, this is like, it takes two steps up and three steps back. Um, and I, I'm not saying that this game isn't enjoyable because I had a lot of fun playing it. There's actually a couple of specific levels that I really love. And I'll talk about one of them because I don't want to have any type of spoilers just in case you want to play it. Uh, I will not touch on the story. The only thing I'll say about the story is it's barely there. And what is there is not not that great. Uh, it's you know, it's your run-of-the-mill zombie survival game. It is cheesy. And yeah, that's it. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Playing on the game by yourself, even on Recruit, can be uh, a little difficult. I had some problems with it. Um... A lot of technical problems, um, falling through the map, uh, being stuck in specific places, unable to move. Um, the co-op AI doesn't work really well at all. Uh, they do at first. It seems like it seems like they can handle themselves, but once the action kind of revs up, you're kind of by yourself at that point. The uh, there's a really weird system. It's a card game, basically. It's where you can actually use cards to give yourself buffs and um, change things to the gameplay. Now, as far as I know, and I haven't checked fully into this, there hasn't been any microtransactions to get that, but that's coming. I know it's coming because it's WB, and Turtle Rock doesn't have a really good reputation after Evolve. If you guys remember Evolve, that was a fucking mess. Just anti-consumer. So, so far, I don't think there's anything aside maybe cosmetics 
and this could have been added after the fact. I haven't played the game for maybe two weeks. Uh, I finished it, or I finished the uh, everything except for the last level. And I do want to talk about that last level because that last level sucks. It's it's terrible. It's terrible. There's some really memorable maps in this game, particularly one that I really think was super effective. Um, and it's it puts you in a bar, and you're, you're the whole thing is you're trying to protect this place while music is playing through the jukebox, and it's pretty cool. It gets chaotic, and it's probably one of the best best levels of the whole game. It might be the only good level in that game. Uh, the maps are not as memorable as Left 4 Dead, and as much as this game wants to be Left 4 Dead, it's it falls short on that legacy. And it's kind of a shame because Turtle Rock is a ta talented uh, studio and they have good ideas. The game, like I said, it's not bad at all. Um, I'm not going to put a score on it, but I would say I wouldn't buy it right away. Maybe catch it on Steam or Black Friday sale. I would say maybe 30 or $40 would cover it. Um, there are some features that it's missing. Uh, I believe versus mode. I don't think that is on here. Pretty sure it's not. Um, I don't think there's been mod support yet. I could be wrong. I haven't played the game for a while. This is me two weeks out after playing through it. The weapon selection is pretty cool. It's, um, it's pretty neat. It kind of reminds me of Counter-Strike, how you can buy your weapons, uh, your, your actual loadout at the beginning of each mission. Um, well, each act because it's each act is split into so many missions and usually on the first part of the act you actually are able to buy from a chest specific weapons and they can range from green um i think green orange and purple colors very well but i know it's rarity and uh, exotics it's, it's, it's really weird a lot of games do this so like have color tiers of rarity and uh, Back for Blood does this. Does that? Um, it's it's kind of annoying. I'm assuming, but eventually there's going to be microtransactions where you can buy this stuff. Now the card game is pretty interesting. Like I said, it does add buffs to the game during the gameplay. Again, I don't know if there is microtransactions to buy it because that would be pay to win, and that would be bullshit. But knowing WB, that's a big possibility. So, ultimately, what I think of the game is it's it's okay. It's not $60 okay. Um, and that also depends on the future outlook. I know they have a roadmap of things to come, like new maps, new weapons, new infected type, which that also, the infected type, um, the enemies are quite varied. Um, I don't feel like I was just shooting zombies. It was... It's kind of like Left 4 Dead. There was different types of zombies, um, special infected. And the same thing goes here with Back 4 Blood. There is special infected, but I mean, they're, some, they're pretty cool. And some of them look generic. Um, and the whole, this zombie virus came from space. It's kind of cheesy. The game is quirky. It is cheesy. And that is something I do like about this game. Um, it kind of sticks with you a little bit. But would I buy the game personally for $60? No. I did play this on Xbox Game Pass, which is available on Xbox. I played this on the Series X. And um, also, I downloaded it on PC and tried to play it. And I had pretty much the same experience, honestly. I didn't really know. It's, it's a pretty well-polished game, which is actually surprising, honestly, because all the games have been coming out. You know, Grand Theft Auto, Battlefield. Call of Duty. There's been some problems, a little bit of problems, which we'll talk about GTA uh, hopefully soon. I, I have been playing GTA 3 currently. And let me tell you. No. 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 We'll talk about that later. As far as I say, like I said, I wouldn't personally wait for this game to drop in price. Uh, 30 or $40 would seem to be the sweet spot possibly even less. A couple of years down the road, you may see this game maybe at the same price sometimes the Left 4 Dead is. 
But if you're really wanting the Left 4 Dead experience, just play Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead 2. Still has a great community. Still has a lot of players. Um, and just wait on Back 4 Blood. Let's see what happens down the road. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll be worth it there. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Feel, hit that, the, 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 feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm stuttering so bad. It's all. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, like button. We don't have a dislike button anymore, so I guess you kind of snooze on that one. Guys, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.